It comes as no surprise to anybody with a critical thinking brain that the mainstream media were going to run cover and shill extremely hard for episode 3 of The Last of Us. We also knew that social media, YouTube, Reddit was going to be inundated with absolute and utter simps shilling for this show as well. But now we have proof that the mainstream media are telling lies and spreading fake information about the apparent review bombing of the absolute and utter atrocity which was Last of Us episode 3. And we're going to have a look at this article and a few other articles that have come out in the last two or three days that really does exemplify what everybody feared and that was that the narrative was dumped and we were force fed an agenda. The Last of Us episode 3 becomes the latest victim of review bombing by anti-gay bigots. Let's just get these derogatory labels front and center of all these articles because we need to cover and we need to shill as hard as we can. So if we scan down to this paragraph right here we'll actually see that the review bombing narrative, the myth, is totally and utterly fake and I have receipts to show you exactly why that is but it also shows the fact that the plaudits and the love for this episode are unorganic. I understand that there's a large number of people that do really love what happened in episode 3 but we also understand that there's a very large number of people out there that didn't like it and that the numbers are being inflated by unorganic methods as we see right here. The episode Long Long Time currently has the lowest IMDB rating of all the release episodes so far with over 29,000 users rating it one star. Given how more than 101,000 users on the website have rated this episode, trolls unfortunately made a sizable dent on this score. In all fairness, however, around 52,000 other IMDb users have tried to counteracting this by rating a long, long time 10 stars. So at least there is more love being promoted than hate. Okay, let's break down this paragraph and really have a look at it. 29,000 users have gone onto IMDb and rated this episode a one star. They automatically have to be anti-gay bigots, according to this mainstream outlet and many, many more. There is no way on earth that people could just have disliked this episode they have to be labeled anti-gay and bigoted, right? We jump over here to IMDB and we go to the page of one star reviews and we start looking at them. Let's scan down from very word go on the one star reviews. And let's just read the titles. A lot of them have more than two or three paragraphs of a review in there. That's how we know that they're not review bombed. So let's have a look at a few of them. Very bad acting by Bella Ramsey, one star. Uh, that's agreeable, not an anti-gay about that. Great until episode three. So far boring. Terrible. Started good, but now I'm done. Third time is a charm. We're here for the story and the acting, not agendas. Plant-based The Walking Dead. Quickly becoming another bore fest. Dull and formulaic. Totally disappointing. Unwatchable due to the drunk cameraman. Now there's an interesting one because we do know that the majority of the cinematography in these first three episodes have been handheld. And some people really don't like that. You know, some people really don't like that Paul Greengrass type of filmmaking and someone is mentioning it here, gave it a one star and automatically they're being labeled as anti-game bigoted. If you want to know the story, watch the gameplay on YouTube. Started out great, took a wrong turn in episode 3. Slow, predictable and boring. The site only lets outstanding reviews stay up. An awful fail. Slow, boring and slow. Nothing you haven't seen previously. Don't bother. Meh. Unnecessary. Dull and utterly boring. Not sure why it's so highly rated on here. Slow and predictable. Boring. Boring. Terrible casting decisions. Pretty average zombie series. When is something going to happen? Not even close. Fed up with again with the emphasis on character bonding. Slow burn and writers suck at this time. Incoherent plot. Just bad. Another failure that does not reach the heights of the source material. I can literally go on and on and on with these one, two, three star reviews. And it is extremely hard to find any homophobic and anti-gay behavior in there. So we're saying on a blanket level that anybody who dislikes this show, that they're sad people, that they're anti this and they're anti that, that they live in their mother's basements, that their skin is terrible, that they should end themselves. These are all comments that have come at me because of the last video where I said that this show was trash, goofy and stupid. So the mainstream media are propagating this sort of an attitude and this sort of a rhetoric and it's premeditated 100%. They are running cover for this show. In terms of being premeditated and deviating from narrative and source material, which I mentioned over and over again in my video when I said that if this was a female that had arrived and Bill had entered into a relationship with a female it still would have been pointless and ridiculous and if it was acted as badly as Frank holy shit what the fuck was he doing this dude couldn't act he couldn't act he was stupid and goofy 
What's your name? My name's Frank. Are you serious? And if it was a female in the exact same role, then it still would have been stupid and goofy. As simple as that. But in terms of being premeditated and actually being overt about it, all we got to do is look at this interview from one day ago from the director of episode three, Peter Hoare. The Last of Us director says that he wanted to trick viewers into watching episode three's gay romance. Okay, so it was premeditated and it was an agenda and it was all part of the plan, right? The director says that sometimes you have to sort of trick the rest of the world into watching things before they're like, oh my God, it's too guys i just realized i think then they might understand that it's all real it's just safe love i don't understand any of that all i know that it's a premeditated agenda that this guy has forced into the middle of episode three and has turned off so many viewers so you can call us incels angry gamers basement dwelling losers you can call us whatever you want but the truth is right here in this article Fifty-two thousand imdb users have given the last of us 10 out of 10 not because that's what they believed, it's because of an agenda. This show was review bombed by left-leaning progressive lunatics. That's the real truth, and you have outed yourself with this article. So don't come at me telling me that this show is brilliant. Look across the board, everybody loves it. We're just taking a very small corner of the internet, which is IMDb, and we know that over half of the reviews on there are unorganic bullshit. So don't be frightened to speak out and say, hey, I didn't like this show. I thought it was absolute and utter trash. Because you know what? All these people that are saying it's the best thing that ever happened, there's a lot of them people lying. 